tumors of the salivary glands are actually quite rare. They most commonly arise from the parotid gland, which is the saliva gland on the side of your face in this area here. But rarely they can occur at other sites or even from the small saliva glands which lie uh, inside the lining of, of the mouth. So those are the most common sites. And they tend to be quite small tumors which grow slowly over time. Generally, the causes of salivary gland tumors are not understood. It's quite different from the more common types of mouth and throat cancer, which are caused by smoking generally or alcohol exposure. The salivary gland tumors tend to occur in patients in a fairly random way, and we don't understand the underlying cause. So the most common patients that I see, they come perhaps by their doctor with a, a lump on the side of their face, uh, often in front of the ear here, or sometimes a lump inside the mouth. Um, sometimes they go to the dentist, um, and usually the diagnosis is made by taking a small sample, either a biopsy or a small needle sample, which leads to the diagnosis of the tumour. So salivary cancers generally have a good prognosis. The vast majority of patients, if treated correctly, can achieve long-term cure. Uh, generally speaking, the treatments which are most effective are surgical removal of the tumour. Um, and in most cases, radiotherapy is given to maximise the chance of cure rate and to reduce the chance of the cancer coming back again. So because we don't, don't really understand the causes of salivary gland cancers, then prevention is difficult to advise. Um, but as with most other things to do with health, uh, it's important for any patient who thinks that they may have a lump or a swelling in their salivary glands in their mouth or in their face should seek medical attention early because if these tumours are diagnosed at an early stage with appropriate treatment, the cure rates can be very high um, in, some, in some early tumours over 90% cure rate expected.